Hello, I'm Emma Taylor and I'm making this video with the Academy of Medical Sciences, who've invited me to comment as a postgraduate researcher on my experiences with supervision and how the relationship with my supervisors has changed during this difficult time of the COVID pandemic. I'm connected to the Academy through my supervisor, Dr. Daniel Horton. So I'm a third year PhD student based at the University of Surrey School of Veterinary Medicine and work in collaboration with the Centre for Disease Control and Prevention. And my research focuses on infectious disease modelling and evaluating which interventions are cost effective. And the disease we use to do this is rabies. So at times it feels like there are many parallels between my research and what's happening beyond my front door. On the 23rd of March, the university closed and all researchers were told to continue their work at home. I found this incredibly daunting. On a normal day, I have every hour accounted for and suddenly I had very little routine, a lot of unknowns and was hit by waves of anxiety, anger and overwhelming exhaustion. I struggled to process everything that was happening around me, something I'm sure a lot of us were feeling. Outside of my PhD research, I work with young adults who access the world in a different way to you and me. And I was having to have some very difficult conversations with those young adults about why their life had suddenly changed and why the world had become this dark and scary prison cell. I was finding it increasingly difficult to focus on more than one activity at a time. And my home wasn't set up with all the computer equipment I was used to and that was needed. And so my research pace slowed. The impact for me was immediate. After a few weeks, the research community at the vet school had established a WhatsApp group and set up regular Zoom coffee meetings. And my supervisors would meet with me almost weekly to catch up. But this wasn't something that I found myself naturally engaging with. And I struggled to communicate effectively through these virtual meetings. So what helped me navigate my way out of this fog? Well, I think for me, it was the patience of my supervisory team. Despite this being the most chaotic time in their professional and personal lives, they were available, always. A safe space was created where I was able to speak about how I was feeling if I chose to. Now, I'm not the greatest at talking about how I'm feeling, but the fact I was given an opportunity to do this provided some consistency and stability in amongst all of the uncertainty. And I was able to re-engage with my research. I remember the day I felt safe enough to share how I was feeling with my supervisor and I told him I feel overwhelmed. The response he gave couldn't have been better. He said, so do I, but we'll get through this together. So what's my advice for supervisors trying to navigate their way through supporting their students in this odd time? Be patient. Most of us have never experienced anything like this before. And so it might take us a while to articulate how we're feeling but keep reaching out, provide that safe space, a dedicated time to facilitate that conversation. And if you can, share how you're feeling too. It helps prevent us from feeling like we're failing. And finally, be ready to receive that conversation, to actively listen and respond with kindness. Thank you.